Hello, welcome to this tutorial and today we are going to place pilings on this octagon structure, rafters. I'm Maurice Dimba and uh, let's get started. If I bring this structure closer, you'll be able to see some pilings already in place. So I'm going to check briefly on how to place your pilings here and how to uh, place your markings on every rafter prior to uh, placing the pilings. If you take a look here, uh, I'll zoom close. I placed uh, a center point for this for this rafter and populated these points along this rafter. How did I do that? I came here and come to edit. I picked on the points and go and and I went all the way to the first option of online add points on online. I picked on that and I snapped on that midpoint like that and I snapped here and I placed the, and uh, I placed that point. So Having placed that point with my XYZ plane taking the slope of this rafter, I picked this point, right click and come to special copy and pick linear and I populated this along the X axis at a distance of 1.2. Leave alone the one, uh, the one meter you're seeing those on the screen here. So you can feed here 1.2 and populate it, populate it along the XYZ axis. In this case, it's, it is facing up and prefix that dimension with a negative sign to move in the opposite direction on on our x axis that's how i did it and you do the same thing on this rafter because the slope is the same but the orientation of the x axis to the uh, to the opposite rafter is different so the distance should remain the same 1.2 meters apart. So once you've placed that, you start placing your pilings. Like in this case, I can delete this and come all the way and start uh, placing uh, a piling here. Just click on that spot and stretch all the way and place a piling right there. You'll, you'll be able to see it. it it is exactly placed at the right uh, at the right position. Now I'll go ahead and, and do that, or I can just leave it on the, on the same same spot because it is the same thing. Now I did the similar thing on top here, and I did the similar thing on top here. So instead of doing the same thing all round throughout the octagon shape of this uh, building, once you've done this row, what you do? will use a different tool, a special tool called Polar Array. And remember, apart from Polar Array, other tools can be accessed on Civilmax here. Here we are on Civilmax website, and we want to access the Polar Array tool. We can just scroll or access it from design and modeling macros here, and you can go straight to Polar Array here. Or if you can access it at the bottom end here, what you do, just go ahead and add it on the cut give it some time to respond and also if you know if you want a number uh, here a, a number of them or you are interested in peb a uh, peb tool or peb master is the same thing just add to the cut and here we have two two products on the cut you can add whatever you want then uh, you come to your cut here and select the view the view cut and go straight and click in here you can feed in your your details i can use that i can agree to uh, terms and condition and uh, submit the order to the system and uh, it will be processed in in just a second i'll go ahead and click paypal and here we are i can go ahead and pay with my card and the moment you pay you finish payment uh, the download will start immediately let's switch back to our to our model now once i come to to polar array tool here double click on it and i'll go on every piling and select on every piling by pressing control on my keyboard and select on that press control and select on that select on each or each and every piling here select on that while pressing the control button select on that and select on this move all the way to to the to the the last palin 
right there select on that i'll press my middle button on the mouse and uh, i'm going to select my first point my, my first point will be at the bottom end here right there and i'll go all the way and pick my second point here i'll snap on that spot and move away from that and define this as my third point here select on that so if i zoom out i'll be able to check whether what i've done is correct and actually what we've done is perfect and it's the best way to do that so these are our palins they are in place you can take a look at that perfect we can close that now i'll come to edit and turn that around so that you have a clear view of this this is how it looks and this is the importance of using a polar array thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel bye bye and thank you